and we're courageous enough to be intolerant of less than standards, we create our reality through an interpretation of logic, of opportunity, of power, of strength. And as men, that's what we're created to do. Gentlemen, what's going on? This is the Better Man Channel, where we take the square peg and put it into the square hole. We don't struggle with trying to make the circle fit into the triangle. We practice what works. This is a world of interpretation. How we see the world is how it becomes. The world is as I see it. If I see the world as an evil place where everyone is out to get me, then that shapes my reality. I'm going to be that person that's always looking over my shoulder, always worried about external issues. If I'm a person that sees the world as opportunity, then I'm always looking for the next chance to take advantage of that so that it fits my, my personal ambitions, my personal goals. The world becomes what we see it. We create our truths. We create our realities. And so the question becomes, as men of logic, how are we interpreting our surroundings? How are we interpreting our reality, thus creating it? And again, we're men of logic. And so we must begin to frame every interpretation within that logic. And we wonder why sometimes our individual life is in chaos or, or not achieving the things that we're aiming at. It's because we're lukewarm. We're in that gray area. We as men have to take the square peg and put it into the square hole. That's logical. And so we have to begin to form this black and white thinking. What works for me? What doesn't? What can I do to become a better person? How can I interpret this situation so that it fits my agenda and not the agenda of anyone else. And so it's this logical thinking that helps us interpret the world in an exclusive manner. The key word there is exclusive. As men of logic, there's some things we have to become intolerant of. And I know we live in a politically correct world where it's not okay to be intolerant. But the, ver the very word exclusive means that there's some things that have to be excluded in order for us to become a better man, in order for us to live our life in black and white and fit that square peg into the square hole because it works. We have to be intolerant of less than standards. We have to be intolerant of ideologies or perceptions or interpretations that try to put the square peg into a circle. It's not going to work. And we can look at our personal lives where we fail to achieve the things that, that we know we're capable of, uh, of the things that, that we're aiming for, merely because we've interpreted it wrong. We've been tolerant. We've been inclusive. And we've tried to fit the square peg into a circle. And it leaves us frustrated. It leaves us wondering, why the hell is this not working? It's because we've became illogical. We've been pushed to believe in this gray area, this utopian lifestyle where everything is inclusive and we're tolerant of all. When you do not stand for anything, you, you stand for nothing. And that's the life that men have been marginalized into. We've stripped away our very nature that says, be logical, be assertive, stand for something, be intolerant of less than bullshit standards. It's time that men start thinking in that black and white nature. The square peg fits into the square hole because that's how it works. And it doesn't mean that we can't uh, improve the process, but we don't throw the whole process away just because someone feels excluded. The whole rationale be behind being better is that you can't include every less than standard where it only brings you down. A man is a logical thinker. We have to begin to frame our interpretations of the world 
because our interpretations of the world create our personal reality. We have to frame those with black and white thinking. What works for me? What doesn't? And those are the hard questions. It's that introspection of, damn, why is this not fitting? It's because we've been trying to cram a square peg into a circle hole because we personally are interpreting the world in a wrong way. And that's a hard pill to swallow. How are you on an individual and particular letter, uh, particular level interpreting your world? I don't care about the person next to me. I don't care about you know, who's on TV and being politically correct, how they're interpreting the world. On an individual subjective level, how can I interpret the world so that it fits me? And I've struggled with this for, for, for years. Uh, you know, recovering addict, dealing with alcohol. And I've interpreted those, well, well, I'm just having a good time. And, you know, I'll change next year. Or, you know, I still got a little bit of time. It's fun. I interpreted it through this, this fun mentality as if I'm 18 years old again. Instead of interpreting it, you know what? This is causing chaos in my life. This is causing me to, to lose out on opportunities. This is causing me to struggle, to struggle, and to, con to continually struggle. Because I'm interpreting this square hole as if a circle will fit. I'm having fun. It's just fun. I can change next year. And next year becomes next year, and that year becomes next. And it keeps just this perpetual cycle of addiction. And so whatever area that you may be struggling with, it could be careers, you know, your finances, relationships, health, weight, mental health, spiritual, whatever it may be. How can we interpret that? Step back and let's think logically. Let's think clear. Let's frame that within some black and white thinking where um, there's some things that need to be excluded so that I can become better. There's some things that I just can't be tolerant to where it's going to drag me down. We're men. We're men of logic. And it's time we begin interpreting our world with logic and see it as opportunity. That doesn't mean that we become some optimistic idiot just wearing rose-colored glasses. Right. If if a dump truck backs up to my front porch and dumps a pile of shit, I just to say, oh, I'm going to interpret this, that everything's OK. It doesn't smell that bad. It's OK. No, I'm real. This sucks. It smells like shit, but I see it as opportunity. I interpret it as opportunity. How can I take this square peg, this shit peg and place it where it needs to go? And I realize, aha, I have a neighbor. I can sell him this shit because he farms and he can use it as fertilizer. The situation sucked. It was shitty, literally, but I interpreted it with opportunity and that black and white thinking. What can I do to make this situation better? And as men, when we grab a hold of that logical thinking and we grab a hold of the black and white and we're courageous enough to be intolerant of less than standards, we create our reality through an interpretation of logic, of opportunity, of power, of strength. And as men, that's what we're created to do, to stand for what works, the square peg into the square hole and stand against the circle into the triangle. We see life trying to cram all these shapes into places that they weren't made to fit. And we see the chaos ensuing from that. As men, it's time that we bring order by interpreting the world with this black and white logical thinking that helps society sustain a livable means. I love you guys. You'll hear me next episode.